today's video we're going to be making a fastening mechanism to hold on to this uh, isolator and the reason I need to do this is normally you would just mount this thing using the screws in the back you just put a couple of screws in and then just kind of hook it on there but uh, it's going to go down inside of a box and uh, so here's the box right here and it's going to fit down inside this box like this so I need to figure out a way to make it snap in. So what I was thinking is to maybe use these uh, these uh, protrusions here or these uh, embossed areas here to maybe uh, snap something down. So if you look at the back, you got this indentation here. So I'm thinking maybe we can do a couple of brackets uh, that use this space down here because I also I can't have it stick out much more than it is now. Uh, so the plan is something that would wrap around here and maybe have a couple of tabs here to release it. So if you need to release it, just pull the tabs out and the thing will come out. Anyway, those are my thoughts. So let's uh, jump on the on shape and see if we can design something cool. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell. And leave me some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to respond to you guys as soon as I see them. All right, let's jump on to uh, Onshape and create a new part. All right, we're going to get started by creating a document. I'm just going to name it Power Strip Locking Tabs. Next thing is to create a sketch. I'm going to select the top plane. You can press the N key to straighten the screen out. And I'm going to start by drawing a center rectangle. And I took some measurements on the original part and uh, I got 50 inches. So we'll make this 50 inches long uh, by 14 and a half inches wide. And then we're going to draw two lines uh, in the center. We're going to space one out. Uh, about 15 millimeters and the other one is going to be spaced out about 10 and we're going to build up on the on the side that has the uh, the hole that's spaced out by 10 so we're going to make these uh, two circles here we're going to make them four millimeters in diameter and then I'm just going to select the equals tool and select the first one and then I want it to be equal uh, to the to the other one all right and I'm just going to extrude this um, I plan on making this five millimeters uh, in thickness throughout so that looks pretty good now we're going to start building uh, on this surface so I'm going to create another sketch I'm going to select the top of this extrusion and then I'm going to create a corner rectangle. And again, five millimeters. And I'm going to extrude this 47 millimeters tall because that's the measurement that we got off of our uh, power strip. Next thing, we're going to create another sketch on this surface. Again, same theme, corner rectangle. Five millimeters and we're going to extrude this one five millimeters so you don't want to extrude too much here because you need these tabs to be able to release so we just need them to, to grip the, the top edge just slightly All right that looks good now we're gonna uh, create another drawing here on top Another sketch, and again the corner rectangle. And we're going to start it on this uh, left side edge again, five millimeters. Extrude it 
another five millimeters. That looks good. I'm just taking a quick look at this part here because I think I'm going to add some fillets. So I'm guessing here at the radius uh, because the, uh, the the part has a pretty good radius. I'm just not sure exactly how, how much of a radius it, it has. But uh, when you have an overhang like this, the radius has to be at least uh, as much as the overhang. So we extruded this thing out five millimeters. So I'm going to do about a six millimeter fillet here. And then I'm going to also add the same fillet on the bottom. Right, so now we're going to add a couple more fillets. We're going to add a fillet here on this uh, corner here. And we'll make this one about two and a half millimeters. We're going to make another fillet back here. And this one's a big fillet. We'll make it about 12. That looks pretty good. So we're going to create now another sketch. I'm going to select the side. And we're going to create a, a three-point arc. And that looks, uh, that looks good. These two sides here. Actually, I can, I can just select the whole box. All right, so you see how it's illuminating when I get in the, on the body of it? So I'm just going to select this whole thing, and I want to remove it. So I'm going to click on Extrude. I'm going to select Remove, and then it's going to take that off. So now I need this angle because when I push down on the part to snap it in, it has to have uh, this angle, otherwise it won't spread apart. And at this point, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Uh, by adding a couple more fillets. So I'll probably grab one here at this bottom edge. And that one doesn't need to be a very big fillet. Maybe two millimeters, maybe. Actually, a five millimeter looks a little bit better. Right, five millimeter, and then we're going to create uh, another fillet here on this pointy top. We'll make that about a half a millimeter, and I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm just going to add a couple of chamfers down here uh, so we can countersink our screws, and about two and a half millimeters is good. Right, I like the way that looks. Now I'm just gonna rename this uh, this part studio power strip locking tabs. And I'm gonna right click on it, select export, and make sure the format is STL. Export it. Next thing is open up your slicer. I've been working here on another part. Uh, this is just any, anything you got on the build plate. And uh, 
open the part you just downloaded. All right, so here it is. Uh, it's not oriented properly, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to rotate it. So by printing it this way, it's going to be stronger and it's going to be able to flex. And if I was printing it standing up, uh, it, it will probably break when you try to flex it. But uh, printing it like this, uh, it will be much stronger. So I just want to check to make sure uh, I got my skirt turned on and I'm just going to slice it. All right, that's it. Uh, next thing is to upload it to Clipper and print. Alright guys, the part just came off the printer. And uh, so let's check and see, see how it fits. So this thing is going to go just like that. Alright, so let me uh, print up a second one. And then we'll install it in our uh, box. And see how it snaps in. Let's check it and see how it fits. There you go. I need to take it out, just push this and release it. Awesome. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell, and leave me some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I see it. Till next time. Take care.